what's going on guys christine austin ill talking to you guys in this video about telecells the mailer leads or the web leads that have no phone number what are you supposed to do first and foremost i would like to welcome all of my subscribers back thank you for joining and if this is your first time watching a video Feel free to like, share, and subscribe uh, if you find that any of my videos are uh, worthy. All right, so my disclaimer is I am not endorsed or sponsored by Lincoln Heritage Life Insurance Company for my training or any other company for that matter. And I nor the company are responsible for your success. Only you are. All right, so... As the description talks about, what in the world are we supposed to be doing with these leads that have no phone number? So there's a few things you can do, all right? So you have to keep in mind that um, a lot of us have become telesales agents on default, all right? Because the virus is going on, we are not able to go out and go home to home. Um, some people are still doing that, but it is advised for us not to. So we've been thrown into telesales and it's like, Oh my God, you got to figure it out. And we are still ordering leads that are mailer leads because there's a thousands and thousands and thousands of them and we need to work them. And some of those leads will not have a phone number. All right. So the very first thing I want to tell you is, um, especially with the Lincoln Heritage agents on our back portal, I want to say the lead sheet. So when you're in the back portal and you are clicking in your leads to view them, that front page um, you can look on that front page. A lot of the leads, when you print them out as a PDF, may not have a phone number, but the phone number may be on that front list. So make sure you stop and check that front list first. All right. And if you guys didn't know that you can print out your leads, um, hey, check the, that box, the green box at the top and highlight all those leads. Scroll down to where it says download PDF and download them. Then you're going to be able to see the leads like the actual lead, the information, if it was a mailer or a web lead or anything like that, you'll be able to see handwriting, all that good stuff. So you make sure you um, download those. Okay. So check that list first for the phone numbers. If there is no number there, you can do a Google search. You can search on the white pages. So on the cell phone, I know I could have done this on the computer, but listen, we're trying to squeeze these videos in, in between everything else with the kids and everything that's going on. So bear with me. So you can go right on your phone and I have the white page app. So if you click on the white pages, if you can see this, okay, there we go. And it says start. How do I get you to see that? Okay, you can't see it. It says start your search. So you can put in a name, phone number. Um, obviously, we're looking for the phone number, so you're not going to do that. So you put the name, address in here, and then do search. So um, you can put a name. Let me see. I'll just create a name real quick. Oh, this is a real person. Okay, so I just typed in a name and you'll see that it'll come up. You can't see it. Anyway, it'll come up. Trust me. Download the, the Why You Page app. It's free on your phone. And do a search. Play around with it. Um, and you can click on, on a name that's in the area and a number usually pops up. You can check to see if there's anybody else that lives in that house. So you can go to the address section of that search and put in the address and see whose names pop up. I would write those names down on the lead with the phone numbers and I call them. Hey, how you doing? I was trying to reach Patty so-and-so. Oh, this isn't her number. Oh, okay. Do you know her? No. Oh, I apologize. This is Christine. I have this number down for the final expense life insurance. Do you have your life insurance covered? They usually hang up on you, but why not? You never know. Um, but you want to do your due diligence in trying to track down the phone number to call them. Um, I have found people through Facebook. Yes, I will track somebody down, right? Through Facebook. But if all fails and you cannot 
get a phone number to track them down. You are not able to um, door knock them at all. Use the letters, okay? There's tons of letters that have been created by agents that have been approved by Lincoln Heritage. And if you're with a different company and you're able to create your own letters, by all means, get creative and create a letter. Um, if you are like Lincoln Heritage and you need to get those letters approved, if you use their name, their logo, get those letters approved. You do not want to send anything out with the use of a company's logo without their permission. It is against the law and you can uh, get in big trouble, okay? Because you can get the company in big trouble. So you don't want to do that. Um, but as I put in one of my other videos, I get creative and put different things on the envelope. And that can catch their attention in order for them to open that up. Time sensitive information, right? And then inside we'll have a letter. And so this is one of the letters that had been approved. The only thing I added was this box saying no home visit needed right now because we can't come to your home. Um, and this letter actually is one of my letters for clients that need that had fallen off or canceled. So letting them know that they don't have to make back payments to give me a call one payment, we can get them set up. And then another one and I put a little circle to call. No home visit necessary to call, right? So again, um, these letters, I will not be providing these letters. These letters had been approved for our agency. So again, you can call Lincoln and ask them if they have, uh, if you don't have any letters, ask them for any approved letters to use to send out to your clients, or you can create one and just let Lincoln approve it, all right? So really in this letter, um, I'll just read like the first part of it. It has like a while back, I received your request for information and was not able to connect with you. And then you first and foremost, I'd like to thank you for um, taking the time to reach out to us for this information. And then it gives some highlight about the benefit and my information for them to call me. But it definitely states that, you know, there's no number for us to be able to reach you. Um, and so it is very important for you to give us a call so that we may be able to get the information to you that you requested. Now, you do not want to use like any titles of any viruses that are going on right now as a mean to sell anything, right? Um, period. You just don't want to do that. They filled out the form. They're, they were already interested in the information. We don't have to try to use anything to give us a leg up, if you will. And again, if you are with Lincoln Heritage, they have sent us an email out stating not to do that. It's kind of like bad practice, if you will. And it's not necessary, again, Tons and tons of agents have been writing almost every single day um, policies right over the phone, and they've never done it before. So there's a little bit of work for the people that have not received the phone number on their lead. Send them out a letter, right? I went out, and the post office, the main post office was not open, but um, the little machine was open, so I wore my gloves. And then I went and I got a whole bunch of stamps, a bunch of them, right? Um, another agent had posted on our group to use um, stamps.com and you can print your stamps right from your printer. Um, so there's other options and ways that you can do this and still be profitable, all right? But just keep in mind, um, a lot of people that are in companies that do telesales, they're usually like a 20 or 30% contract. Our contracts have not been touched, meaning they have not been lowered, being that we're making um, sales over the phone. So it's okay if you get a couple leads with no phone numbers and you have to put in a little bit of work to find those numbers. Let's do our part and help these people and do our job. This is a blessing that we are able to still work and be able to work from home and help these clients all right so um that's what we can do if there's no phone numbers look for them have fun don't take a day when you're supposed to be on the phone calling like that's your income producing time don't use that time to look up phone numbers look up those numbers early in the morning be like when you're on a conference well no not when you're on a conference call because you should be listening and taking notes so scratch that do that in the evening when you're sitting, possibly watching a movie or something with the family, you know, um, start looking at phone numbers. 
or in your quiet time, look up the phone numbers. But don't do that during the time you should be on the phones. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, there's no easy way to do this work. We just have to do the work. Smile and dial. Smile and dial. All right. Christine Osdenil, thank you for watching. Um, there's going to be several other videos coming. But right now, that's it. Because my time is up. Here's the dog coming and the family's running down the steps. <laughs> How are you guys doing with this um, lockdown? Y'all enjoying it? Tell me what you guys are up to. I'm interested. Leave your comments down below. Like, share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.